Here we go. Yep, okay, it's working. We do have a flying cyclops. Good job, everybody. My name's Oscar Richard. Welcome to a video on a Subnorska mod. Now, essentially, this video is going to be on a mod that isn't quite out yet, and it's not finished, and it's not open to the public yet, so I've got exclusive access to this, but it is really, really cool. But before we get into the main video, I'd just like to say thanks to Amino, because if you somehow don't know what Amino is by now, they sponsored the channel once before, and this time their sponsorship allowed me to pay for the voice acting for that Subnautica documentary I did, so if it wasn't for them, there would be no documentary. So, Amino is an app for both Android and iOS that powers over a million different communities, at least one for every interest in the world including Subnautica, Hollow Knight, and game development. There's loads of stuff to do on there, and the communities are really, really friendly. It includes a front page of featured posts, public chats, quizzes, and polls. There are some really incredible artists on there, and they post loads of really nice-looking artwork every day. For example, this amazing-looking artwork of the Ghost Leviathan. Amino's community is the ultimate place for high-quality Subnautica content, polls, and chat rooms to meet and discuss the game with other fans. I hope to see you there soon. The link in the description will take you straight to the page where you can download the app. Most people don't like sponsorships, but if it wasn't for them, there would be no documentary, so I'm really grateful for them for sponsoring this video. So actually, what we're going to be doing today is having a look at this mod. And as I said before, this mod is not open to the public yet. This is still a work in progress. It's very, very early. It was only created yesterday or today, I think. It's, it's seriously not finalised. The creator sent me the... Um, controls for the Cyclops about 10 minutes before I started, so it's really, really, really early at the moment. I don't know if it will ever be released. The moment is not open to the public, so you're just going to have to rely on this video for the very, very moment. So essentially, what this mod does is it allows your Seamoth to fly. It says here in the Seamoth databank entry that low-power multi-directional thrusters enable it to function equally well in sea or space environments, but of course, we only have water here. We have no choice of space. However, this mod allows you to fly the Seamoth as if it was an aeroplane or a spaceship, but not in space. So all you have to do is press L, and here we are. We're up in space. Uh, well, we're up in the sky, in fact. We're not in space yet. So essentially, it allows you to fly it just as if it's in the water, because what the mod has done has essentially tricked the game into thinking that we're still underwater, uh, but we're actually above the water level. And it does actually work with space and sea, which the uh, human flying mod does not, which I will showcase to you a little bit after as well, um, made by the same guy. So, as you can see, it's not perfect because there are water splashes going around the cockpit and stuff like that, obviously. That's probably never going to be removed because that's just a point of the game and it looks fine either way, it just looks like air resistance, I guess. Essentially, what this does is it allows you to fly your seam off the ground, which is really great because it means you have a form of air transport, which is not currently available in the game and probably never will be. Um, and it's a pretty nifty, quite fast little version of getting around the Subnautica map. So it's a pretty useful mod. If you get out, it also stays in the air. Now what I'm doing at the moment is I'm swimming in the air, and this is also the flying mod, which was made by the exact same guy. And essentially what this means, you can park your Seamoth in the air next to a sky base, for example, which is what I've been doing in, a, in my live streams recently. You can have a sky base that goes up into the sky, and then park your Seamoth next to it as like a docking station. Which is really cool, because it essentially functions now as an aeroplane, or, or something of that kind. Obviously this doesn't make any physical sense, because it has no wings or anything like that. But it works perfectly. It works just as it does underwater. Now, one of the problems with this mod at the moment, don't know if this will ever be fixed, but this is a common uh, thing with this. When you enable the flying thing for vehicles, it doesn't only affect the Seamoth, it does also affect certain animals. So you might see floating rocks, you might see floating biters. I've seen a few biters flying around in the sky. I'll see if I can find some now, actually. I think it must also affect the, uh, the rocks with the floaters, because I swear they don't normally get that far up to the surface, or maybe they do, I don't know. Ah, see, there you go. Don't know what that is, looked like a hoopfish, but that is just, that's gone into space. Oh, there's a peeper in the sky. Yeah, this is one of the main problems with it. Uh, there are, there are creatures in the sky and they have, they, they, they aren't affected by gravity, seemingly. But, one of the other points with this mod is that it also, I haven't tried this yet, but it also apparently works with the Cyclops. So we're gonna, gonna turn off the flying mod for vehicles, let that fall into the ocean. Beautiful dive. Made no splash at all, that would have been a 10 out of 10. If we pop into the ocean, and then do sub-cyclops, apparently, this newest file includes controls for the cyclops. So we're going to see if we can take this thing into the sky, because this would work really well as a mobile airship, because it's massive and there's tons of storage on it. Um, if I just turn my self-flying off, that means we're actually able to walk around. So if we pilot the sub, and then we press L to allow flying, Turn the engine on, 
and we'll see if we're able to do this. This will be really cool if we can. Okay, let's hope this works. Let's ascend. Here we go. Yep, okay, it's working. We do have a flying cyclops, and the controls work perfectly as well, just as it does underwater. How cool is this? Put it today, get a better view. <laughs> How awesome is this? It looks like we're either a really, really tall ship that goes all the way into the water, or we're actually flying. Either way, it's awesome. You can get you can get unlimitedly high with this, I believe. It takes a while because it's not the fastest thing in the world. But if we put a head flank on, we should be able to get a little bit of extra speed going. Yeah, I just think it's a really cool mod. I think if this was implemented into the mainstream game, that would be seriously cool because of how useful it would be to have flying vehicles. Oh, fire detected. I must have been uh, the head the head flank must have been damaging it a little bit. Un uh, understandably, I was kind of overworking it. Let's just go and put out this fire quickly. We don't want an explosion in the sky. Ah. Ah, oh, bit of a problem. It's not going out. Is it, is it gone? Okay, fire sorted. So yeah, it works in the sky. I just want to see how this looks from the exterior. So I'll press K to enable human flying again. And there you go, it stays in the sky. How cool is that? It looks amazing. Actually does look awesome. So yeah, I just wanted to showcase this mod to you today because it just shows the potential that Subnautica has for, for further modding in the future. Um, I'm surprised this mod hasn't been done yet, but, but it has been done now. Whether this will be released to the public soon, I don't know. Um, so don't ask me about that. But all I know is that he gave me the files for this and it's freaking awesome. So yeah. Tell me what you think of the mod in the comments below. I'm sure he'd like to see your feedback on it, anything else. Um, but whether it's going to be released at some point, I have no idea. So I'm going to leave this video here, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you're feeling really, really generous, subscribe to the Currency Day. But until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Try my friends.